tell you what, for me, I think the best way to travel is road trip. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. At the very least, it's the best way Yvonne and I make videos because of the adventure and the freedom to go wherever you like. So we are bringing my parents. First stop, Elephant we Sanctuary. We are super excited. Steve Yay. is an awesome driver. <laughs> Getting us out of the city? Wow, he did great. My mom, is doing, my mom is doing some manifesting. She's quite nervous about the ride, so she's saying that to make it happen. Okay, we got our touch and go, touch and go card. Touch and go. This one has Visa also on the right side. What do you think we should do? So, touch and go line or Visa line? Let's go touch and go. You think it'll work? Okay. You're okay? Says I got 36 ring. That's gotta be enough. Touch oh. here. You're good, Steve. Cost 250. I got 34 left. Hey, we're rich, man. Woo. 36 ring it. Well, there already. What do you say, mom? Could you live in our room? I mean, our room. What do you say, mom? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to live in our room. Okay, Ramba. Let me try again. You win the campo. Let me try. Let me try again. Cut. Uh, <laughs> What do you say, Mom? Could you live in the uh, Kampung? Village? Well, I could live... In, uh, uh, I don't know what the difference is between a village and a small town in Toronto. I mean, really, you, there, we do have small, yeah. uh, remote towns. It's like driving through Coburg. Yeah. True. Well, Coburg would be a little bigger. Okay, but, Trenton. Um, we do have... There is smaller towns, so... Uh, I live here? No, it's far too far away from my are you, ranch. Are you more of a city? <laughs> no, I, a... Uh, no, I could live in the country. Mm, all right. What I would call the country. Um, right. Have I ever? No. But I don't. wouldn't live in downtown Toronto. Mm. We do live in the suburbs. Right. But our houses are close together. Right, right. We have malls very close. Right. But it's still not downtown Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> but I find this very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. That. Never experienced anything like this ever. Never seen it, except in your video, Steve. Ah, uh, you're in the video <laughs> now, Mom. You're living the video. We're living the dream. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's so much fun. Welcome to Kuala Ganda. I'll fit a conversation. Conversation? <laughs> Con conversation. Elephant conversation. Go, go. He's telling us to keep going. Okay. Go. Okay. Elephant conversation. Mm -hmm. Conservation. That's what I meant to say. All right. So all of the local school kids are out in the elephant sanctuary today with us. And honestly, for me, it's enriching my experience because it's quite cute to see all the little kids uh, smiling and taking photos with all the information. And so far, it's been simultaneously educating as well as a very beautiful walk over top of the river and so this at least on first impressions is a very good pit stop for our first uh, road trip destination i think we can get up close and personal to some elephant so let's uh let's keep exploring haha <laughs> <laughs> we have found the elephants dun, 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 dun. my dad's not afraid oh yeah he's a happy guy he's a happy guy Ooh, he's a happy guy. These are the baby elephants now. So I know they look big, but they can get a lot bigger. This one is a dancing elephant, actually. Back and forth. And the tusks are growing. Look at the tusks. Oh, they are growing. Go ahead. Mom, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. Do it again, Mom. Do it again. Look at his little finger almost. It's not his finger. Okay, buddy. I got you. Say, I want more. So elephants only have four teeth, and I believe it's four molars. They got a top left, a top right, a bottom left, and a bottom right. That's their whole. Oh, oh. Okay, mom, this is your, mom, this is your opportunity. What would you name this elephant? He's so cute. What would you name the elephant? What would you name? Oh, look, and he leaves. Like hey. <laughs> no food, no friendship, mom. Name him Piggy. He's back, Mom. He didn't leave you for long. He didn't leave you for long. I brought you a gift. Oh, so strong. Oh, now he's just licking my hand. <laughs> so nice, guys. So nice, guys. Okay, guys, 
We're gonna try to do this. This is their idea. Double, double, look at the camera though, look at the camera. Double E with the camera. Oh gosh, it's so good. Mom, go back more. Oh my God, that's such a good shot. You guys are so cool. Now the question is, would it be weird if I ate some of the sugar cane myself? It's yummy stuff. <laughs> they are very good. But I think this one... It might not be clean. It might not be for human yeah, consumption. Okay, okay. Elephants only. Oh, it's so fun! <laughs> Something about elephants so big and so powerful and certainly capable of crushing my hand, for instance. And yet when you're near them, you feel so calm and they really seem like one of the friendliest of animal species. And so evidently they are working here to have a opportunity for tourists to swim and bath with the elephants. The sign says not available yet. So we were not able to do that, unfortunately, but we still recommend this place because believe it or not, it's free to enter and they only ask for donation. So we just walked in as if we own the place and fed some elephants and then we're gonna walk out and drop a donation. Uh, absolutely five star experience. And by the way, it is an elephant sanctuary, not an elephant zoo. So I can confirm that no elephants were harmed in the making of this video. Okay, road trip continues. Uh oh, just before we leave, we have found the main event. I guess what we were feeding was the baby elephants. Yes. It looks so big to me. Yes. But up ahead, we've got the heavyweights. We've got the full grown and apparently covered in mud. Adult elephants fresh off the mud bath. This is a good experience. Oh, good thing we didn't leave yet. We thought we had the main event, but this is the main event. Yeah, fresh off a mud bath, I guess. Oh, the mud is right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, oh lucky us. He's gonna go in the mud, it looks like. And by the way, he or she, uh, I'm ignorant about that. Uh -huh. I would Ooh. guess she. There we go. <laughs> I have it's no a idea. She or a he? I'm not sure. Woo! Woo! It's like me when I was at the cottage when I was a kid. Splash <laughs> around in the mud, having a good time. <laughs> oh, here goes my dad. My dad fancies himself an elephant. elephant. Feeder or elephant thirst quencher. But that's going up his nose, isn't it? He's drinking up his nose, okay. <laughs> oh, he's gonna spray my dad, he's gonna spray my dad. Oh, he transferred it to his own mouth. Very clever, very clever. <laughs> Good work, Daddy O. Oh, yeah. Listen to the suction, you're right about that. Good work, Dad. What's your hourly rate, Daddy-o? Elephant thirst quencher. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Oh, he's on the move now. He's on the move. This is what you would see if you went to Africa. These have got to be some of the top elephants right now. <laughs> Although I will say they don't look too much bigger than the babies, but that probably shows my naivety in terms of elephants. And I would describe elephants as friendly and gentle, like I said earlier, but also wise. They look smart. The eyeball, the big skull, they look like they got it all figured out, elephants. I think they could impart some life lessons to you. They seem to have they it all figured out. They look very peaceful. Right. They never seem like angry or, you know, really bothered. Absolutely. They're very zen. Yes, exactly. Got it right. What do you say, mom? Similar to your mother. Very zen. I wasn't going to call you an elephant, but I did. <laughs> In terms of the zen, I was going to say the same thing, mom. <laughs> I'm only kidding, honey. I'm the biggest worry worth there ever was, but I had to say it. If you were an animal, what would you be? Me? Duck. Duck? <laughs> How about you? Oh, boy. I have no Duck idea. is a good answer. What animal would you be? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know either. I've never, I don't know what I would be. I'd like to be a bird. I wouldn't mind flying. But I, the duck flies, but it also swims for like more than a minute. It does the fish thing I'm and it does the flying thing. Bird. I don't need to do this fish thing. <laughs> you know what, I think, I like hummingbird. I think your mom is a hummingbird. I just keep humming around. <laughs> you can't get rid of me. <laughs> All right, there you have it, everybody. Uh, our next stop will be hopefully to find some food. We're gonna try the Warung style eatery, although it's pending my mother and father's approval. We're not going full local just yet. We gotta ease into it. So let's keep going. What should I say? Great time. Great time. <laughs> There's a goat house there, mom. Getting, getting some shots for her Insta. Goat house, goat house right there. Is it the one? Oh, right there. One head is 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one in the corner poking out. <laughs> We're getting a good look at him, but he's getting a good look at us too. Yeah, that's right. He's locked in. I never seen him go before. <laughs> Along Patin Station. Yeah. We're coming here because evidently the king has eaten here recently. Right. We're going for some royal lunch. Right. Looks like it's popular enough. Yeah, it's busy. It's a good time. My mom's a bit nervous. He says this, this is for me? an experience. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. What is this? The beef? I think it's uh, beef. Don't be nervous, mom. I won't. I won't lead you astray, okay? This is chicken and sauce. It's safe. Yep. Good work, mom. Going in for the mackerel with the eyeballs, like you always say. I know. Just don't with, eat them. With the eyeballs, just don't eat them. Your plate looks good, mom. I'm not sure. I like it. I'll try it. Looks good, mom. Can I put sauce on this? What you can sauce it? it up, yeah. So, mom. I've only tasted the rice. How's oh, the rice? Add some zip. Add some oh. zip. But it's got the stuff in it. The black, it's, it's got spice in it. It's good. Can I interest you in some patin de hoya? This is the specialty of the area. But you can enjoy your meal first and then you can see if you like one of the most flavorful dishes there is. Oh, you're like me, mom. You're struggling with the bones. This is a family problem. Struggling with the bones. <laughs> What else is new? I'm surprised your mom ordered that. Me too. Spice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out. What's up, the fish? Ooh. If you want, you can pass me one. The flavor is good though. So this is cut in tempo, yeah. I'll give you a chunk of meat, okay? I'll give you some sauce, <laughs> and you is can put, put some rice. It's not really spicy, but it's something new, Mom. Put some rice on here. <laughs> okay, Mom. There you go. Go for it, Mom. First what am time. I eating? Pack of, uh, nothing unusual. It is fish, and it is durian with it's some spice. The, durian. the sauce is the durian, which is very unique. You might like it. I would be surprised if you do, though. <laughs> Everything's so spicy. Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> it, this is not too bad. Really? Oh, except it's super spicy. The taste itself, you like it? So yeah. if you're nervous, if, if if you're nervous about trying durian, this is durian flavor. This is really spicy. Did you get the fish you wanted? No. Oh, you can have mine. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Very different for us. <laughs> you doing well, Mom. Like Stephen That's said, skinless, boneless chicken. Mm. What could I say? Okay, Mom. Take your time and enjoy. Good? Good. My Burn my innards, but burn your innards. I burn my innards. If you want, have some more. Oh, it's spicy too. Yeah. It's all spicy. Even the most familiar dish, which is called I am Goring, this is fried chicken. This will be spicy? No. But it's new for you because of fork and spoon. Huh? So even the familiar ones are new. Good fried chicken though, right? Mm -hmm. Malaysians can fried chicken pretty well. Ivana, you taste this and tell me it's not spicy. Here, it's yours. Probably is. I believe you. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I'll, I'll have Good job, Mom. I'm surprised you took it in the first place. Yeah, me too. Well, I thought I would try it. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Let's finish the meal and see if it was a success. Or maybe we can go to Burger King after. <laughs> KFC. But it's good. Boy, this is hard to eat without a knife. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Take away. You can't eat it with your hands. You can pick it up I with your hands. I know. That's true. You eat by hand. Yes. Yes. 
I will say this, mom, you're doing the right thing by eating with a spoon. The locals here will get mad at you if you eat rice with a fork. So you got the right strategy. Sorry. Rice with a fork? Sorry. <laughs> So mom. This was not edible because it was just too spicy it for was. me. But I think I could have, I think it tasted okay if I could get past the spice, I uh -huh. think. I wanted to see what it tastes like, but it's just too spicy for me. I was worried that might happen. But, but it was good. Yeah. It was good. Did and you feel? Eating that chicken without a knife is very difficult. But, <laughs> oh, you just have to learn to keep picking it up. Yeah, it hands I'm well. trying to, you know, to me, it's polite uh. to use, not pick it up, but it's different here. Yep. So once I, you know, you do that, you're good. <laughs> good job, mom. And I will say this, cool sunglasses, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. And what about your dad's plate? Almost licked the plate clean in there. It was good. It was good. It was, very, it was good. <laughs> Dad plate is safe. Soy sauce chicken, soy sauce beef. And I didn't safe. mind the, uh, whatever the it was. The Patent de boyak. She liked it. But it, it was, was spicy. It was a little bit spicy for her, but, but she the liked taste it. was okay. It wasn't, you Steve. know, the worst taste. Okay, level up to durian soon. Yeah. It was spicy. Look at my upper lips. Oh my Ooh. gosh, you're glowing. Looks like I put lipstick on. <laughs> it does actually. Okay, the journey continues. All right, so on a lot of days, our adventure ends at 5 p.m. But today, our adventure is just beginning at 5 p.m. <laughs> this is so much fun. Hold on, folks. Here we go. Oh my gosh, everybody, put on your seatbelt, okay? I meant the seatbelt on your hat, of course. Say goodbye Hi. to the road. We are now. We're now going to the dance. Off roading. We're now off roading. Hey. <laughs> This is so much fun. <laughs> 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 Me, I'm just relaxing. <laughs> I'm holding Honeymoon phase is over. There is our cat. There is our cat. Hey, we made it. We made it. Woo! <laughs> oh, mom, we're gonna camp here, okay? <laughs> Everything's an experience. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't look so bad. Come on, guys. This is uh, this looks like a luxury restaurant right here. Yeah. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Safe, got it, got it. <laughs> Have no fear. Wi-Fi is here. <laughs> Mom, to be clear, you wanted glamping. I did. Do I you did. do you regret your decision? No. Let me see where we're staying first. <laughs> You're looking at it, Mom. So big thanks to our friend Mior. You'll see him in the chat or the comments down below. He hooked us up and helped us out booking this because my mom was interested in glamping. And this is glamping. I think my mom might regret her decision. The accommodation for two nights. Excellent. You'll be able to hear me snore. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We got this or we got both? Left we got two. Right. We got two. We got oh, I thought we were sleeping this close to you guys. I said, oh. You still hear me snore. Then I'll really <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're still right. But we do have we do have two tents. Okay. There you have it, everybody. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> It's like a two-bedroom apartment here. Now how do we turn the AC on? <laughs> <laughs> it's a friend. Okay. Oh 
Look there's there. a fan up top. <laughs> and you won't get wet if it's heavy rain because of there's another oh, layer. Is, one. Yes, okay. I'm only teasing. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have completed our brief check-in process and we have started exploring the property where we have found this tree. <laughs> I'm not gonna provide some expert analysis. What I can say is it's so big and I am a big fan. <laughs> cool tree. Cold, stiff, or refreshing? Oh, it's fun! <laughs> Shark! Shark? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right, that's it. Nice dip, muddy dip. I regret my decision. <laughs> it didn't work at all. <laughs> Your shower <laughs> and I. <laughs> nice water, it's actually the right temperature. Very refreshing. Would recommend. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right, so here we are in the kitchen after darkness has fallen. Typically, this would be the place where we end our video, although I think today we will extend until tomorrow morning so we can let you know how the sleep was because it uh, could be a hit or miss on the sleep tonight. Could be no sleep at all. We'll have to see and wait and find out. Uh, now, we've had our fun and we've checked in and we've had a pretty great day. I will ask you guys what your favorite part of the day was. We did a lot today. This is a pretty typical road trip day where we've done a lot. Ivana, favorite part of the day? The elephant. I agree, the elephants. And the same, all the elephants. Four elephants having dinner. <laughs> uh, okay guys, we're gonna have dinner and then we'll see you tomorrow to wake us sleep. <laughs> Looks like good food actually. I love the cabbage and soy sauce, so good. Nice, and chicken. Look at this, very nice. All right, good morning everybody. It's now 7 a.m. down by the river. What's the final review, Mom? How was your sleeping experience? Be honest. Did you sleep? I did sleep. The bed is comfy. It's a big, thick mattress. Okay, good. It was comfy. Didn't need any covers. Um, <laughs> the AC didn't work. <laughs> so, you know, it was a little warm. But it was com It was okay. Were you sweating all night? Uh, well, it was sticky. Yeah. It was sticky. I wouldn't say I was sweating. Um, getting up and going out in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Even going to the bathroom is an experience here. I mean, just because it's not like at home. Yeah. But it's okay. Get used to it. But there were so many, I don't know what they're called, if they're ants or what they are about this big, down in the sand, back and forth. And I'm like, oh my goodness, but they weren't <laughs> in my bed. But then I had my sandals on, so then I get into my head and go, what if they're crawling on my feet as I'm walking to the bathroom? <laughs> it's funny, eh? The things that go through your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it was good. It, we slept. We slept until, I don't know, the rooster The rooster called us this morning and woke us up. I don't know what time it was. Like 6.30 probably. Six, oh no, I think it was earlier. Maybe 6, yeah. It's 6 o'clock and yeah, it was It was all good. Good it was, job, It's Mom. an experience. <laughs> I agree. It's an experience. You gotta try everything once. I agree. So I would say this place is pretty well designed. They got lights all night when you go to the bathroom, like along the ground. Yes. Yeah. And there's tons of different glamping spots, even some cabins with proper yeah. roofs being built and then some more simple glamping. Something for everyone. I think it was a good place to stay. Yeah. Shout out to our friend Mio for hooking us up. Uh, Absolutely. We had a good experience. It, it, it was an experience. Dan's yeah. Eco Resort. Who would have thought we would go camping? Glamping, Glamping with my mom yes. in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it. <laughs> there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody.